Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Welcome to the course History of English Literature. Introduce my name, Maria Zakia Alvisuma. Okay, firstly, there is a good sentence here. To be a great student of English literature, you must know the history of English literature. It means that history of English literature has a close correlation with all of the courses that has related to literature. For example, like world literature, classic literature, romantic literature, modern literature, postmodern literature. So before we study more about another courses related to literature, it's better to know first the history of English literature. This is to make us easily recognize whether the works is located in the certain period and has a certain characteristics. We have to know more about English literature by studying this history of English literature. Okay, in this course, we focus only on the American literature and British literature. Before we study more about history of English literature, I would like to ask you, do you like reading? What kind of book do you like to read? Short story? Novel? Or drama. If I give you this picture of the literary works, are you familiar with this one? I think you must be familiar with this literary works because mostly they have already been adapted into movie, so you can easily watch it. For example, like Sherlock Holmes, this is a detective novel written by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. And this, this work, uh, written in the Victorian era. And then Oliver Twist. This is a novel by Charles Dickens, and this is also written in the Victorian era. The next, Pride and Prejudice. This is a, this is a novel written during the era of Romantic literature. Harry Potter, Romeo and Juliet, the Lord of the Rings. Okay, this all the literary works produced in Britain uh, in the different period of literature. And then the next slide here. This is the picture of the literary works written in American time, in the American history of English literature in the different period. Are you familiar with this one? Are you familiar with this? Uh, literary works, Moby Dick, for example, like this is a novel uh, talking about a great white whale. And then The Great Gatsby, this is a novel talking about the glamorous lifestyle experienced by the main character. These two novels has a different uh, characteristic because they are, are written in the different era. Moby Dick, this is an example of the literary works written in the Romantic era or in the Transcendentalism era of America. And then The Great Gatsby, this is, this is a novel written in the modern era, uh, in the time of the World War I. Okay. Then The Rip Van Winkle, this is a short story written in the Revolutions era and uh, between the Revolutions era and Romantic era. Uh, and then this is Ernest Hemingway, The Old Man and the Sea. Okay, which one of these literary works that you have ever seen in the bookstore or you have ever read before? Okay, that is the functions of uh, studying about history of English literature. We can see uh, we can see some of the development of the novels. We can see the characteristic of the novel which is written in the certain period. We see that in the Romantic literature time, there is a novel written by Jane Austen, and the title is Pride and Prejudice. We can see in the Elizabethan era, in the era of the Queen Elizabeth I, that there is a drama written by Shakespeare. And in this time, drama, uh, Florist. It means that drama ha uh, has developed so much. There are many dramas written by William Shakespeare. For example, like 
Oh, Othello. Ham, Othello. And then with Summer Night Dream and uh, so many others. This is the example of the American literature, Moby Dick, written by Herman Melville. Uh, as I said before, that these two novels written in the different period. So I would like to make a conclusion that uh, in this introductions of history of English literature, you will learn about the periodizations of literature in Britain and in America. We also learn about the literary development, the characteristics of literature written in the set time times, written in the different period, from the old English up to postmodern era. Besides that, we also learn about historical background. This is talking about the religious, political, or social life of the people that influence the productions of the literary works. I'd like to give you such a timeline of the periodizations of British literature. In the earliest one, the first, it began with the old English literature. Mostly the characteristic of literary works written in this era, they are oral literature. Uh, in the form of legend, uh, epic, okay. However, by the times goes by, the literary works has already developed from the oral literature come to the written literature. In this time, the publishing company has already been established so that we can see some of the literary works have have already been uh, published in the written text, for example, like Canterbury Tales. And then so on after, uh, after that, there is an Elizabethan literature, 17th and 18th century literature, the Romantics and Victorian literature, and the last modernism and postmodern literature. We will study more in the next meeting. We would like to talk about this one by one. And then the next, this is the timeline of the periodizations of American literature. The first one, Native American and colonialization period. Then revolutions literature, the period of romanticism and transcendentalism. Remember for the literary works, the novel that I have said before, uh, in this novel, Moby Dick, uh, Rip Van Winkle, was written here in this time. Okay, and then continue to the period of realism and naturalism, and then modernism and Harlem Renaissance, postmodernism. Uh, remember that the Great Gatsby that I ha that I have already stated before in the previous slide, uh, the novel was written in this era, in this time. Beside the Great Gatsby, you might also look at another works, another great works from Ernest Hemingway, from Robert Frost poems by Robert Frost, and so on. Okay, uh, uh, that's all a glimpse idea about history of English literature. Uh, hopefully you might like to learn about this. Uh, increase your curiosity about literary works by studying about the periodizations of English literature. Uh, the last, I would like you to leave a comment by answering one of these questions here. Only one of these questions. You might choose uh, whether the questions number one, number two, or number three. Okay. The first mentions literary works, short story, novel, drama, or poem that you have ever read. And tell us what is it talking about. Or number two, mentions what literary works you have uh, you want to read the next day. After listening the explanations about the periodizations or after look at a glimpse, a picture of the literary works that I have stated before, maybe uh, you have, you figure out what is the next uh, reading text, novel, drama, or a short story, or even poem that you would like to read next in the next day. 
Okay, the last. Is it important to study about history of English literature? Why? Okay, thank you very much for your attentions today. See you in the next uh, in the next material. And then wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.